Ouch. <laughs> which, which is your favorite Scooby-Doo movie? Zombie Dude. Island. Zombie, zombie Island. Island. Yeah, everybody's going to say Zombie Island. I was like, Zombie Island, but if we're going to go non-generic, I'm going to say the WWE one because that one's really funny. Oh, God. The, the Miz being the shit out of supervillains is really funny to me. I mean, they literally had John Cena do the John Cena meme. Dun, 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 dun. And he fucking smashes a boulder. As he should. You are. <laughs> Let me see. Which other one did I? God which damn. One did I... Let's see. Aside from Zombie Island, obviously Cyber um, and the Cyber Chase. Fucking hell. No. And the, oh yeah, the Witch's Ghost as well. Witch's Ghost was good. I liked Witch's Ghost, but I didn't like how the villain was like written off as at the end. Oh. I mean, Tim Curry as like. Oh, where'd I go? I lost track of where I was on screen for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the the revelation <laughs> of the villain was um, honestly enough. I like that that big twist. But at the same time, I do understand why some people would be a little bit thrown off going, wait, how the hell did I that- I don't know! Oh. It just- it, it- it just seemed like a wasted opportunity of, like, where you could write the character, because he, like... Jesus Christ, we got our ass handed to us. I lost <laughs> track of where I was in that cluster fucking <laughs> middle for a second. Yeah, yeah. Also, somebody said, uh, Karma says that that actually wasn't the original idea. Huh. Well, that explains that explains why the change was so random, too. Yeah. Also, just, I'm gonna. Yeah. Like his like after he unleashed the book and everything, he's like he's shown some regret, like oh yeah, I fucked up. But then he gets killed, like he gets sucked in the book afterwards. So it's like, well, yeah, I didn't like that part, especially yeah. when the when the group starts joking about it after, we're like, what the fuck. The, the studio, studio wanted the movie to have to end where the fake ghost was re um, reviled, but the marker makers of the film wanted to use a real monster. Uh, okay, I, uh, I, I, I mean, I understand. I mean, I understand, but no, it would It still should have been just the big. Re it should have just simply been the fake ghost the whole time. And maybe at the ending, they could have revealed that the witch's ghost was real, similar to how they usually do with the how they did with the. Um, well, speaking of which. Do y'all remember the 2019 uh, Scooby Doo movie Return to Zombie Island? We we no, don't talk about that one. It. I heard it sucks. I, I haven't watched it though. Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? <laughs> retcon. It completely retcons the original film. Oh god oh. damn it! Not surprised. I, I know for a fact that like um I think it was Billy. No, it wasn't Billiam. It was um Ryan Holinger. He did yeah. a video discussing why he absolutely hated Return to Zombie Island. And the thing about it is that he is that usually Ryan Holinger tries hard to at least give bad movies the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't try to be that negative horror movie reviewer, but this movie absolutely pissed him the hell off. What and the fuck? The why couldn't I jump? Sometimes that's been too golden. Yeah, it happens to me sometimes too. I think I think it's just internet connection. What That's why it? I've come across at least. <laughs> also, and I'm probably gonna piss off a lot of people with this um, hot take. I never gave a shit for the hex girls. I'm a hex girl. Nah. Like I liked the fact, like I did like their appearance in the witch's ghost because it kind of made sense, especially with the reveal that one of them was half Wiccan. I liked that. But then afterwards, they just kind of made random appearances, and I feel like the only reason they included them there was just because, A, they're goths, Dang therefore... it, I got it disconnected. Ooh, uh -oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. It's beginning again. By, uh, <laughs> by Riley. <laughs> I feel like they only included the Hex Girls afterwards just because, oh, they're goth, therefore everybody Shit. loves goths. And I mean, be real. <laughs> I mean, no! why do you think why do you think Def is also half goth in that one image I have? Because <laughs> he's a hex girl. Because he's a goth. He's a goth guy. He's, he's a, goth a hex boy. girl. God so he's it. like Pam Pizza. I mean, maybe, but without the constant "this is the worst thing ever" type of thing. He doesn't say that all the time. 
I know, but it te it doesn't yeah. post that all the time. Videos. Ouch. <laughs> but anyway, also, I kind of feel like they just include the Hex Girls a lot because they were that popular. There was that one with like the Battle of the Bands one they did. It was kind of recent. Why well, they raised them like early 2010? No. Nope. See what I mean? The last time I remember them appearing was in the uh, Mark of the Vampire special they did. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought that one was good. Ow. They weren't like super. Whoa. They weren't super important, but they were. They were made sense for them to be part of the plot. Fucking fool yeah. to the goddamn moon! Oh my god. I, like, I don't hate them. I just kind of found that they were only included like so awkward sometimes, but. They were at least interesting enough for me to go, well, I, I enjoy them. Kind of wish they would have done a little bit more with oh, the girl Oh, at the Bina. last second. At the <laughs> last <laughs> fucking second. Oh, oh, God, I totally forgot about um, the Alien Invaders episode. I mean, movie. You know what, Ryza? I will give you that. You Fucking hell, dude. He won fair and square. Yeah, you know what? I, I oh, actually shit. give you a bit of a free pass to post something in the chat. Oh, gee, I wonder, is he gonna post Squidward? Or is it gonna or be that one, Xenoblade? Or that one, like, Luigi emote? He's probably gonna post a Luigi Is it the Wait. fact that he's a fake Xenoblade Back fan? Is that it? Oh! <laughs> Riley, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <In Minecraft. laughs> Alright, I'm gonna target Riley this entire time now, so... Alright, so... Oh, um... Uh, I, it seems that Angel of Speed is not currently in the game. Yeah, I got uh, disconnected. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll invite yeah. you back. Because eventually, like, missing. it would only yeah. it would be fair to like um, try to like play with other players. Like, Drog said he wanted to play um, multiverses. Drog, do you have multiverses? No, I... Drog said that he doesn't have multiverse. Well, I, well, I it's free he's... online. It's free on Steam. Yeah. But I think he said he hasn't been able to really get around to playing it. Okay. But I said he wanted to play it more, so I assumed he had him. Yeah, he same. Me. I remember watching, like, the Monster of Mexico where they said the Chupacabra was this giant fucking uh, Sasquatch-looking mother. Which? Hell no! That's not what the fucking Chupacabra looks like! The chupacabra no. is more or less sort of like a dog-like creature that sucks the blood out of goats. It is mm -hmm. not a Sasquatch creature. All right, All right. Name literally goat sucker. Yeah, I mean literally chupacabra means goat sucker in Spanish. <laughs> also, I like I found that episode. I found that special at least funny, but that's mainly because they constantly showed it on Cartoon Network. I think the most goaded Scooby movie is the Alien one. Uh, Alien Invaders? Yeah, we're Shaggy and Scooby found love. Oh, Ninja <laughs> Reviewer, you're right. Uh, autocorrect sucks ass. It's fucking garbage. It, it, it is. Sometimes it's helpful, but sometimes it sucks. Yeah. I was a babysitter during one summer for a bunch of kids, and basically they would just rewatch a lot of the Scooby Doo straight to video movies and shit. That's how I watched Monster Mexico, the fucking Hawaiian one, the Loch Ness Monster one, all that shit. Oh god, god I remember it. the Loch Ness Monster one. I will. It is interesting to point out that ev that the the uh, directed DVD movies of Scooby Doo. I've noticed that ninety-five percent of them always have the same plot. Oh look, they go in and they end up being called up to some adventure. Shit ends what up happening. What the hell? One of them goes. Oh. Oh Darn no! Dick. I got kicked out. Oh no! I was bullying Riley. <laughs> oh, you oh. Step line. Um. Oh, line. I think Daphne always ends up disappearing, or some sort of tragedy thing happens. Then it's revealed that it's all staged, and at the very end, oh, by the way, the thing was real the whole time. Chupacabra looks like a giant bug. I'm pretty much sure it's supposed to be like a dog-like creature. Again, speaking as a Mexican here. Alright. Why we're going to sell this in Smash Brothers? <laughs> I watched the one Dude, where, I watched the one where Scooby... were in Nepal no. while the gang was in France. <laughs> oh, I think that was um, I think that was the one where they went to Everett, Mount Ever, Mount Everest. 
I think the errors are going to happen regardless, Monaki. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. remember that one because I stopped watching the Scooby Doo movies after um, the Goblin King one. And no, not David Bowie. <laughs> that would be a weird crossover between Scooby Doo and David Bowie. Oh, okay, so they did go to Everest. Nice. They went to the moon. Oh, God. They, they met with Kiss! They met with Kiss! They met Batman. And Courage. And Supernatural. What are, thoughts, what are your thoughts on Scooby Doo, Where's My Mummy, and the Supernatural and Supernatural crossover? Okay, oh, so. That crossover was legendary. That crossover was great. Like, I remember when I saw that Netflix had all the episodes of Supernatural, the first thing I did was just go to the Supernatural one and go. I need to see this because everyone talked about it. Everyone said it was good. I need to see it. And yes, it actually lives up to the hype. Not oh. and I got kicked out again. Wow. Yeah, that's me too. Well, Darn it. This is glitch. This is gl it, it, the servers must not be handling things well. No. I want to know what oh, causes tonight. that. Like, I think the best thing about the Scooby Natural crossover was just not only were they really respectful to Scooby Doo. But I love the big reveal where all the characters start to realize that, yes, supernatural things are real. You mean there's a heaven? A hell? Am I going I, to hell? I get fucking it's... Shaggy going, I told you this! I told you, time. man! We fucking told you! It was so hilarious seeing fucking <laughs> Sam and Dean break the Scooby gang. It was amazing! Yeah, I never watched the Supernatural series, uh, that series, but the, uh, that, that Scooby Doo crossover, but I watched that clip a high hundred yeah. times, and it's yeah, that, so good. It is a very good special, and again, I love the fact that Supernatural did such a good, like, good honor for the <laughs> series by doing it. Like, there was no swearing from the gang, they were just very casual. Let's try it this was, again. It what? was damn good. As for uh, Where's My Mummy... Uh, did I... something happen to you guys, too? Um, no. Why, did, why don't I see anything? Uh-oh. I just see the lobby again. I'm not seeing the choice. Oh, before. no. You guys are going to have to restart the game, I think. Yeah. Probably. Leave lobby. Oh. I, I'm getting the option to leave the lobby, at least. Oh, I already closed the game, so I already opened it. Well, let's just restart the game, guys. Yeah, I just turned off the game. Yeah. And restarting. But, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, that's right. I think what the what made, um, Where's My Mummy kind of good was the, uh, the big twist at the near, uh, midway through the end. The Rug Flight, um, or the Rugia Flight, I'm sorry for butchering the name. Thank you for joining the stream. Hello. Says Zombie Island was great. Yes, it was. Yeah, the it was. The music in that, that movie slapped. It were, I mean, for one thing, they actually kind of conveyed the fact that, yeah, the gang had been retired for many years and they were just going to finally come back to it, you know, do their adventures. And again, too, the fact that the haunt, that the whole supernatural thing was actually real and not just, oh, guys trying to be a villain for money. No, this time it's actually real. And yeah, again, Where's My Mummy was a pretty decent episode, was a pretty decent movie. I think it'd be really funny. From after the supernatural crossover, the next, the future cases are like, "Hey, are we sure this is just a guy and not really a monster?" I mean, I would have loved for that to happen. I still love the fact that they were able to tie the whole thing. Like, it's self-contained too, as well. Like, you could literally, like, you could probably put that in any element of supernatural at least midway through its original run. And pretty much with whatever Scooby Doo episode two. Also, the fact that fucking Dean was trying to hit on Daphne was hilarious. Anyone remember Aloha Scooby Doo? I was not a big fan of that episode. Of the that only episode. thing. <laughs> Have you guys the, seen the Trick or Treat Scooby Doo special from this past month? No, no. I no. I, I've seen I've, my knowledge on Scooby Doo is so bare minimum. It's not even funny. You like, live with Keyframe. How is that possible? Uh, <laughs> like I, I'm trying to think of an answer here. Like she doesn't. Like she mentions titles, but that doesn't mean I've watched them. 
Fair. It's the hippogriffs versus the ponies. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I hit to be too an accident. We'll do it free. For, we'll do this to be too. Then we'll make the free for all. Um, yeah, let's what? go ahead and do that. Um, you know, funny you mentioned that, Golden, because the first interaction I had with Keyframe was me and her were just discussing how much we like Scooby Doo, and oddly enough, how we both feel that Scrappy Doo gets unfairly mistreated in the, in uh, the Scooby Doo community. You know, hilarious thing that you mentioned that, because like whenever people complain about Gen Five, they compare that dragon to Scrappy Doo. Oh, that's unfair! <laughs> like, that's a little bit unfair. Like, no. The Crappy Duke was cre When Crappy Duke was first made, he was created as a way for basically Scooby Doo to continue get to pretty much bring back the franchise because after the, because the original show got canceled because it was in a decline. So they made Crappy <laughs> Doo to kind of bring back, to kind of bring more life to the show. Unfortunately, it's. Scrappy ended up suffering what the Minion suffered, overexposure. Hmm. And then after they just sort of said, okay, we've used Scrappy too much, it just kind of got rid of the character. Warner Brothers was the one that kind of came in going, you know, Scrappy do sucked. Yeah. Which is which is what eventually led to the whole reoccurring joke of Scrappy Doo being a terrible, terrible character. And then James Gunn doing the Scooby-Doo movie and basically making that pretty much canon to the eyes of the public. Oh, the live-action one? Yeah, James run, Gunn right? literally said that he made the made Scrappy oh. the villain. Oh my god! It's Man, Multiverses Perfect. is just not being cooperative oh. today. He does not want us to play tonight. Let me it's take a look not. at how the server kick works. Because <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand but, either. But, um, what was I, what was the other, but, yeah, James Gunn pretty much said, oh yeah, I made Scrappy the villain because I absolutely hated him, and I wanted to pretty much push him to the point of no return. Then he realized that there were Scrappy-Doo fans out there. Whoops. Well, he didn't end up apologizing, but he pretty much states the character still sucks in his eyes. <laughs> mm. I've actually stated multiple times that I would love to see them include him in multiverses <laughs> just to at least do two things. Redeem the character for some people and just give people the excuse to beat the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they can do that for the duck hunting dog for um, Smash, they can do the same for Scrappy. Mm 